Okay, welcome back. This is part three of my complete file upload site tutorial series. And in the last video, we finished up our user login and logout uh, with a JavaScript, an automatic JavaScript redirect. Uh, so it automatically takes us to our login page. Now what we're going to work on is our register page. So our register.php. So uh, we obviously do not have this file created yet. So in our root directory, I'm going to create this file. New file, register.php, open it up, and if we refresh, we just have nothing now. Um, now, our reg most of the majority of our pages are essentially just going to be the exact same thing as our index page. Uh, so, it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing as our index page. So, it's all it's going to be the entire layout here. Uh, so to simplify our lives, what you want to do, what you might want to do, uh, you might not necessarily want to do this, but it's very handy. Um, it's essentially so if you have to update a single part of your code, um, you only have to update. Like if you want to update your design, uh, you only have to update one file, and in this case, it's going to be two file, because we're going to create two new files, and we're going to call the first one top.php and the second one bottom.php and we're going to open both of these up we'll go ahead and close the login, logout, and status pages for now and I'm going to get rid of all the code inside of the top and bottom pages <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to the index page and really we're only going to be changing the left side of our page really so I am going to highlight everything from right here highlight it up and hit control X so all we're gonna have right here is left side content and then I'm gonna paste all of this inside of the top page now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the bottom page highlight everything control X and paste this into the bottom page and I'm gonna save this page now what we need to do is we're going to throw in two PHP code blocks, one above and one below the uh, div ID left right here, and we're going to put in require, and that's not what we want, there we go, and this is in the design folder, so we're going to require our uh, top and bottom pages be included dot PHP. So we're going to highlight this, control C, paste it in, change this to top, and save. Now, if we refresh our page, we have the exact same thing. But the thing is, is every time we include this, we have the same title. So if we simply highlight the title, get rid of it, and we paste it in, and we put the title in, in each page, uh, it'll automatically change the title. So really, this is whoops, wrong button. This is all the code we're going to have for our index page, and we have the exact same thing we have here. So we're going to do the same thing for our register page. I'm just going to highlight everything, paste, and I'm going to change this to register. Now, throw in a space here, and I'm going to get rid of this left side content right there. So inside of here is where we're going to have our form, uh, our login form, and everything. All that good stuff. So, if we're on our home page, we have upload site home. We have left side content displayed. If we click on the register link, so it goes to our register page, we have upload site register, and we have nothing on our left side because we're not uh, including anything there. Or we're not putting any text there or content there, rather. So, first thing we're going to start doing is we're going to create a form, and we're going to set the action to uh, register dot php we're going to set the method to uh, post and we're going to save and we're going to end our form now we're going to create a table to so table and we're going to create some columns and rows to so tr and the tr So, right here, 
and actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab our form here. I'm going to grab our table, rather, our table here, copy it, and I'm going to paste it inside of here. So, right here. So, we're going to have our form just like this, uh, just like our table here. So, if I refresh, we have this. So, we're going to have our username and our password automatically change. But uh, you guys can't see this, and that's because I'm down here, and the screen doesn't go all the way up here. But every time I click on one of these, it changes the content of these up here. It's kind of funny, uh, because these are the first occurrences of the ID. So it's just kind of funny. Um, so we're going to get rid of this column, this extra row, or extra column right here. So we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to get rid of this one as well. So now we just have this right here. So, oops, I'm going to put a cell spacing on this of about 10 pixels. So right there, to refresh, it just spaces it out a little bit more. So we have username and password. Now, if you recall, or if we just go back to here, type in the information again since it loads. password. Alright, so once this loads, go to our users table. And right now the only thing we have in here is ID, username, email, password, active, key, and date. Now our active, our key, our date, and our ID are pretty much, or, or our active key and date are going to be generated with PHP, and our ID is automatically generated with the MySQL database. Uh, so we only need three fields as of right now. Uh, eventually, we might change this uh, to require some more information or something. But really, uh, probably not. So I'm going to highlight the entire row, and I'm just going to paste it. So right here, we're going to have email box. The name is email. The tab index is 2, and right here, the tab index will be... Uh, three. The value in here will be email. Uh, the class will be text box. The on blur will be email box blur. And the on focus will be email box focus. So if we refresh our page, you see now we have username, email, and password. So these are the three forms we're going to need. And uh, we're going to need a submit button. So, um, the first thing we're going to do before we do our submit button is we are going to get our, our, uh, I'm just going to close all of these. We're going to create our JavaScript.